Good morning, friends. My name is Ben Cho. My wife and I are members of the Audacious North Church, and I'm here to share God's word with you this morning. I'm talking with you about owning your community. I grew up as a as an only son with two sisters. My mom was a Christian woman, and she brought us up in the nurture and admonition admonition of God's word. She taught us to own our community because she owned hers. She felt it was a responsibility to her to make sure that everybody she came across heard the word of God. And she taught, she, she preached to anybody that cared to hear. She preached to the taxi men, to, the, uh, to anybody that she came across in the market. At her death a few years ago, a lot of people came around the house sharing with us and saying how much that she had been an influence to them and many people said how that they became born again because she shared the gospel with them i remember that for us as children we the kind of friends that we had the kind of interactions and, and play time we had was restricted but whenever it had to do with going to church or being or, or going for a bible study fellowship and it, it, it was a no-brainer because she always allowed us to go to those kind of things and it shaped us today my sis, my wife and i my sisters and their spouses are all in ministry and making a, a mark in the lives and destinies of many people today i want you to know this that god determined the place where you are today the place the environment where you live god determined it because Acts 17 says that he determines the habitations of our dwellings. He predetermines it from time. I want you to know that where you are today is not a mistake. But you see, in Psalm 115 verse 16, God said that the heavens, even the heavens are the Lord's, but the earth he has given to the children of men. God has given you that community where you are, that neighborhood, that school, that job or all employment area where you belong or your business area that you have transactions every day god has given them to you and he has given them to you as a possession you see your job your environment is a gift but what responsibility do you have what you're taking responsibility for that area or for that place you are becomes a gift that you give to the lord the bible says that in the book of john chapter 9 verse 15 jesus says that while i'm in the world I am the light of the world. He was confident of one thing, that God had put him in that space and he had a responsibility to shine that very light to the world, to shine the, to be an illumination to his world. Beloved, God trusts you. He's counting on you. In Matthew chapter 5, Jesus said that you are the light of the world and a city that is set on the hill cannot be hidden. The same light that Jesus was to the world is the same light that he has made you in your community. Beloved, right now, the onus is on you to begin to share the word of God, to share the love and life of God to someone. You're the only light that someone will see. You're God's hands in your community. You're his eyes in your community. You're his voice in your community. I want to speak a word to you this morning. I want you to know this, that you are the light of the world. And the, if you lose your light, if you lose your taste, your salt, if you lose your, your, your ability to give light to the world, your world is sunk. So I declare to you in the name of Jesus that you are the light of the world. You do not conform to your world. You transform your world by the light of God's word that is in you. Today, be audacious in your faith. Take a step of faith and share the word of God. The Bible says to us, do not be afraid to share the word and do not be afraid to speak the word even when we stand before adversaries because God will give us a word, a word and, a, and a tongue that our adversaries are not going to say. Be bold today. Be audacious and make a difference in your world. Invite someone to church. Tell them about the love of Jesus and let them know that there is hope in this world because you are the light of the world. Love you.